Hello everybody, thank you for joining me today for another Twilight Zone video in my Twilight Zone ranking series where I rank every episode of the original Twilight Zone from my least favorite to my favorite. Today I'm going to be talking about number 90, The Parallel, written by Rod Serling and directed by Alan Crossland Jr. This is a season 4 hour long episode of The Twilight Zone and as always there will be spoilers. So, The Parallel has a pretty interesting concept, especially considering this was the 1960s. It's amazing to me how many... Uh, Topics that the Twilight Zone covered in the 60s that were a little bit ahead of their time, I think. So, this episode's not perfect, in my opinion. There's a few things that could have been better, but I liked it overall. So, this one's about an astronaut named Robert Gaines, and he's on a return journey back to Earth. But things seem very different when he gets there. So, Steve Forrest as uh, Robert Gaines, the major, is fine, and Jacqueline Scott is also fine as his wife. I don't think they're all-time great Twilight Zone performances, but they do, they do a pretty good job uh, of making me care about the characters. So, the episode starts with an astronaut getting ready to come back to Earth, and that's Major Gaines, uh, but his equipment stops working and he blacks out. So we go forward a little bit, he wakes up, he's not sure what happened, but he seems to check out okay, so he's allowed to go home to his uh, wife and daughter who have been concerned about him. So things seem okay at first, then uh, Gaines starts to notice weird things, like a fence around his house that he claims was never there, he's now a colonel instead of a major, he thinks the president is someone different that nobody ever heard of, and then the most creepy part of this that I thought was a little disturbing is that his daughter says that that's not her father. She doesn't recognize him, even though he looks exactly the same. So everything is just off for Gaines, but normal to everyone else. I thought this was a great concept. And although it's a bit slow going, uh, being an hour long episode, I thought this was a great concept and I was engaged in what was going on. So... No one really knows what to make of this, but then some evidence pops up eventually that might support Gaines' story. So eventually Gaines starts to come up with a theory that he's in some kind of parallel dimension, which is interesting. And as he goes back to examine the aircraft that he was in, the spacecraft, whatever you, you want to call it, uh, he's suddenly back up in space again. And I have to say the transition between scenes here was a little bit odd, but I guess you have to just go with it. So eventually Gaines lands safely again. And as he is being examined after he lands, another gain sends a tran transmission, meaning that he was in another dimension the whole time, therefore the title, The Parallel. I thought this part of the episode was pretty good and done pretty well overall. So... Gaines reunites with his family, and we get a happy ending. Now, the ending did feel just slightly tacked on to me. It was a little abrupt, and I thought there were some maybe more interesting ways they could have gone with the last part of this episode. But I guess an overall happy ending in the Twilight Zone every so often isn't a bad thing. So, overall, while I think the editing in this episode is a little strange in places, and the episode is slightly padded in the hour format, I was engaged with the parallel throughout the whole episode, and uh, I thought it was a pretty good concept considering when this was made. So that's why the parallel is number 90 on the list. As always, feel free to leave me a comment on this episode if you liked it or not. Thanks for your support, and thanks for watching.